Uh, what was that like for you, just sitting there waiting? For sure. I mean, um, I was honestly praying. You know, uh, again, God took care of it. The refs, you know, made the right call, and um, we played as hard as we could. That's your fourth down catch. You slip on your backside, so making the play. Just take us through when you see the ball coming to you, and then how you guys were able to finish that drive. Again, all God. Um, I mean, fortunately, I slipped. If not, I would have probably got a big gain off that. But um, yeah, fortunately, I slipped. Things happen. Cam gave me a chance, and uh, I told him that we got his back. And with Cam, just seeing how after rough first half, see how he was able to, what he was able to do the second half to be able to get the offense going and keep you guys in this. Again, like I said before, we have unlimited respect and you know confidence in Cam. He's the best quarterback in the nation, and I say that with everything I got. Um, I mean, that dude's a baller, never gives up. And like I said a couple weeks ago, um, we're confident when he's back there. Can you elaborate more on the on that catch? I mean, how did you see the ball? You were, literally were like, I think, flat on your back. Um, I mean, again, that's that's the unknown. That's all. That's all. God, God took care of that. I just caught it when it came to me. I, I really don't know. At what point did you see it? Uh, I saw it the whole time. Oh, you did. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I slipped, and then when I looked up, it was right there. Do you practice catching balls on your back at all? Like, is there, is there even a way to practice for that? You'll uh be uh, interested in what I, what I practice. I practice some crazy things. <laughs> um, upside down catches before practice. Um, and again, I keep my faith high and just let my work work ethic do do the rest. Obviously, it was a- practice that one specifically? I've practiced them before, yes. Okay. yes ma'am. Obviously, a little bit of a slow start for you guys. Um, just talk about the resiliency to, to really never get your heads down despite that. For sure, I mean, Virginia Tech is an amazing team. They're a really, really good team. Um, got some, I got a really old team, you know, um, 21 to 22 starters, I believe. Um, I mean, we have extreme respect for those guys over there. We weren't executing um, to our potential in the first half, and that led to, you know, some bad things. But uh, again, we kept fighting and just super proud to see me and my brothers go out there and get it done. Right after the game, you were uh, yelling, give Cam the Heisman. Can we talk about, we're five games in, he's clearly the front runner for the trophy. Can you talk about what you've seen as his primary catch passer? Yeah, I mean, again, I think he's the best quarterback in the nation, but again, we're not worried about that. That's just something, you know, um, like a little joke to say, you know, but uh, we're just super confident in that guy. And I know, you know, tomorrow he's gonna come to work ready with uh, hair lit on fire. And um, again, have to versus a great team in California. It's gonna be a long trip and uh, just ready. At, you know, more. during the non-conference schedule, things seemed a little bit easier, but now you come into the conference schedule and you know that this is what you've got left to go ahead. Do you feel a comeback from behind? We'll do an awful lot more as the year progresses after the way you were able to come get through this football game. I mean, it just comes down to the simple fact of we just executed better in other games, you know? Um, all, every we cheat every single team the same. Again, Virginia Tech is a really, really good football game or football team. Um, I think people underdo that, uh, like underestimate them. They're a really, really good football team. And um, again, all execution based. So well, how much better? Well, how much better do you think this team can get? Excuse me. How much better do you think? How much better do you think this team can get after tonight? You know? I mean, as many days as we practice, as many opportunities we have, I feel like we'll get better each and every single day. Um, we have great guys on our team. Just got to get healthy and, um, again, just lock in. That's the conference only for you guys the last three years. It's all been at home, all down to the wire, and you've all lost the cross ball by a field goal that game. And we know how the rest of the year went. Just what sort of a mental breakthrough is there to win a game this way? You have a game where you guys left a ton out there and a ton of stuff to clean up, but you still found a way to get the W. What is that? For sure, we had a team meeting before the season started. Um, we have a new Canes order, you know, and uh, basically just saying, you know, enough's enough. Enough of, you know, not finishing games, enough of coming to lifts late, enough of not coming to practice fully prepared, not enough of not fully preparing, you know. So, um, again, it's, it's a new team. We're not looking back at all. Um, again, we're super grateful that we got this win. And uh, again, we, we need to fix a lot of things. So. Again, starting tomorrow, we need to get back in the building, get our bodies right, and get ready for another good football team. Great. Thank you, Lex. Sure. Thanks.